so I'll just give a few, take a few minutes to share a few things about what we're doing. And uh, um, just for people who don't know, uh, our goal, we're a nonprofit. Our goal is to bring uh, an open uh, annotation layer over the web, not only to build the software and uh, deploy it, but also we spend a tremendous amount of work in outreach, community building, um, because it's one thing to build the technology, it's another to actually get people to use it and embed it in the practice of what we do. Uh, we're funded through grants from uh, a number of very generous organizations um, and highly appreciative of their support. Um, we also um, care a lot about the uh, annotation paradigm becoming a web standard and becoming something that's truly interoperable, um, hopefully eventually either shipped in browsers or, or supported within browsers better than it is now. Um, and I'm super uh, grateful for the work that Rob and Yvonne and, and all of the other folks um, in the, and, and Doug uh, in the annotation group are doing. Um, kind of a rough checklist of stuff we care about. Um, open source, uh, standards, compliant. The green stuff is things we're doing pretty well now. The, the, the brown uh, check marks are ones that we still have uh, some work to do on. We've uh, just shipped uh, an early uh, serialization of, of the data model, but there's, there's a lot more to do. And of course, the data model is still kind of settling down so, and, and protocol, so um, there's a lot to do there. We work on HTML and PDFs. Um, but there's a lot more formats in the web, and, and so we have uh, work left to do there as well. And also, um, uh, we really need to um, work to get back to the thing that you know, that Nick initially shipped this cool little plugin called Annotator JS, um, which a lot of people are using because it's software that you can embed and run yourself. And right now, Hypothesis is kind of a monoculture of uh, of a client and a server that are directly tied together. Um, so a few things that we're uh, working on, or that we've shipped rather. Um, so uh, one of the important things that we had wanted to do for a long time was to be able to link. Um, we you were able to grab a URL for an annotation before, um, but um, that that link went to a kind of a standalone page, um, which was kind of uninspiring. Um, so now we shipped a feature called direct linking, which was quite complex. Um, and what the direct link does is let you uh, grab that URL, but when you tweet it out, for instance, which I'll do here on Twitter, if you are following, you can go click on this link yourself. Um, and uh, when you click on that link, then it takes you back to that page um, in context uh, and goes and finds that annotation and scrolls the page um, to the thing so that you can go right back to it. Um, so that's that's kind of a cool thing. Um, and the interesting thing is once we kind of started playing around with it, we started to see that you could do some really interesting things with that. For instance, here's, a, here's an annotation on a PDF um, that has a direct link in it. Um, and when you click the direct link, um, it takes you um, to um, another article right to the place, um, kind of the citation-wise, that talked about that thing that you were linking from. Um, you could actually link back to the thing that you were talking about. So you kind of have this notion of maybe bi-directional links facilitated by direct linking using annotation technology. So um, I think as we begin to um, um, un you know, start to implement some of the things that people have been thinking about for so long, going all the way back to Vannevar, we'll start to uncover some of the, the, the cool capabilities, semantic um, kind of capabilities that um, were embedded in those thoughts a um, uh, long time ago. The other thing that we uh, spent a ton of time working on is this notion of groups. So um, uh, there's annotations that can sit in um, in a public layer that are kind of discoverable on any page, um, but then there's the potential um, for us to start to think about annotations in layers. So say I want to create a group that's not in this kind of public space, but is um, something um, in my own space. So this is um, uh, uh, Friends of Science. Uh, so I can create that group uh, and now I'm the 
only member of it, um, but then I can start to, say, grab this URL down here and share it with other people. Uh, and now when I go to back to the annotation client, um, Friends of Science is now a group. Now, it's, now I've got a clean page um, and a clean slate to start to make annotations um, in this um, new space, like so. Um, and all the other places that I was annotating before, so I could go to the Atlantic now to, the, to some other page um, and, um, and create annotations in this space too. So um, the notion that we can start to create layers over all over the web, over all documents in it, um, is, is a kind of a powerful thing. This is just a very early kind of prototype implementation. It's shipped, it's working, um, but um, there's a lot more to do. Uh, different uh, levels of distinctions in terms of visibility paradigm. So these are right now are, uh, uh, private group implementation. So um, you're annotating in private with other people, um, but we can imagine public groups where you control access to the people that you're annotating with, but other people outside uh, of that group can see them. Um, uh, the climate feedback guys have been agitating for this um, from us for quite some time, and so we, um, we need to ship that. Um, so we've got a lot of stuff um, to come. Uh, these are things that um, we're, high, we're very committed to, to working on. They're kind of at the very top of a long list of things, but more support for direct links throughout the application, better profiles and group pages, support for ORCIDs uh, and other kinds of identifiers, um, single sign-on support for publishers so that you don't have to, a publisher can embed the annotation client um, and uh, let that person annotate within the authentication scheme of the publisher instead of the hypothesis annotation scheme or authentication scheme, better search and filtering capabilities, uh, public groups, um, more format support, EPUB, we've got a partnership with e the folks that do the EPUB JS library and um, uh, have a, a, a prototype integration. Um, but most importantly um, is, um, towards the end, is letting people, one of the most common bits of feedback that we've gotten, particularly from folks like Alex, who just uh, presented, the people in the Annotating All Knowledge Coalition, is that they want to be able to run this stuff themselves. Um, they want to be able to stand up an annotation server, um, and then they want a client um, that can talk to it. Um, so um, this is stuff uh, right now, uh, this is kind of what uh, it looks like. You can uh, create an account with us, and we're happy to let you annotate. But um, what we really need to do is think about how to um, begin to let um, uh, to create something more like a universal annotation client um, that has a certain set of capabilities um, to which you can log in um, to any server. Um, and then mo potentially multiple servers uh, at the same time so that you can be pulling from different annotation sources into the context of the page um, that you're at um, on, on any page um, that you travel to. Um, it's kind of similar to the notion maybe of a tabbed browser where you've got different, uh, different web pages coming from different servers and you can kind of move between them um, so if we're going to bring conversations to the web, we should think maybe about how to um, do that. So this is addressing a key tension um, in um, the, um, that, that we see, which is that publishers want to be embedding annotation and um, shipping annotations and um, publishing annotations around their work, um, but they kind of want to control that conversation. Um, they don't necessarily want to embed uh, feature annotations that are coming from um, other places that they're not endorsing. But users kind of want to bring their own communities and their own conversations to that content. So how do we um, solve that key tension? Um, a universal client um, that's the agent of the user ultimately, but that the publishers um, can publish into as well, um, might be one step towards doing that. So this is work we're very um, uh, focused on thinking about and we'll be working on uh, over the next year. So I'll stop there and any, yes, if there's any questions. Any questions? <laughs>